What's up, everybody? Shelby from respectmyregion.com here at Hall of Flowers, Ventura, California, 2024, here with Taylor Hart. What up? What is your position and why are you here? Uh, so I, uh, I'm i uh, many hats. So I work for Respect My Region, have for seven years now, head editor, been a music journalist, uh, kind of do a little bit of everything. And then I'm the assistant manager for uh, the Ballard location of Dockside Cannabis out of Seattle, Washington as well. So um, retail dispensary in the 502 market. I've been there for uh, five years now as well. Also a medically certified consultant. So if you're a patient in 502, uh, I'm here to help consult you and guide you through all of the products that we have and what might help you. So, um, but I do a lot. So it depends on what day. Uh, what time of the day, because I could be doing all the different jobs um, at any point in, in a given day. So, uh, but that's what I do. And uh, I reset displays consistently <laughs> for Respect My Region, making sure that we look good, especially on a windy day. Uh, so that's what I'm here for. <laughs> Flip flop. Yeah. What um, led you into cannabis? Like, how did your job journey trickle down to that? Yeah, so um, I've been um, studying cannabis like on um, a wellness, like in depth in the body kind of research on what it does. Yeah, my bad. I was camping on that for a second. Don't ever camp on them on it. Uh, anyways, uh, so yeah, so when I was a teenager, I started having mad gastro issues. I couldn't eat nothing. Um, turns out uh, celiac and can't have gluten. Um, but I really use cannabis to help me through that and to help heal my gut afterwards as well once I got my diet changed up. Um, and so I found that it really helped me. And then understanding how it's working inside of your body, like what your body is doing when you're metabolizing it with edibles or um, like when you're smoking, what's the actual reaction happening in your body? Once I started to understand that, and understanding how the body is all connected with it and that you have your own endocannabinoid system inside of you. I was like, this is money right here. And so I've spent, um, God, now it's like half of my life studying it to a point to where now I get to guide people on that path. But it was really through my own journey that led me into it. Um, and then I just kind of came of age uh, at the time where medical was really starting to take off and you started seeing dispensaries pop up all over the place. And then I turned 21 and, and it had just legalized and the recreational market had just started. So um, I just kind of jumped straight into it um, with all the knowledge that I had already been learning previously. Um, and so it's been really rewarding over the years now to become uh, certified through the Department of Health to say that I can consult with medical patients. I know what I'm talking about. Um, and to see their journey as well. I've been bud tending long enough that I've been able to see the journey progress. And that to me is what has kept me in the industry and especially at the retail forefront of it is because I've seen that growth through the patients, the same growth that I had using cannabis through it. So um, to me, it's everything to be able to continue that path and educate folks that it's not just about getting high and smoking like we're doing right now for enjoyment, but it's also about um, people who don't want to feel high and the ways that they can use those products to make it so that they don't have to be intoxicated, but they can still get the relief. So, um, yeah, that's kind of what all led me into it and what has kept me in here is seeing that progression and seeing the way that people have accepted it more who generally would never have accepted drugs in the past. But so, yeah, that's kind of what led me in. Hell yeah. Is this your first Hall of Flowers? Yes, this is my first Hall of Flowers. Um, I've never been to a show down here in California. I've been to a few up in Washington, but I haven't been to Hall of Flowers before. So this has been really dope to be out there. It's a gorgeous day, super sunny out here. What beachside, like, I don't think that you can get much better environment to sit around and discuss weed and be able to consume and, uh, and enjoy it, you know, for everything that it is. Um, a lot of other industries get to do that with their products and it's always been shamed in cannabis and you've always had to discuss it without even being able to tangibly see it or indulge in it. So it's nice to be somewhere where it's like we're here talking about it, you can see it and then you can go and consume it in a responsible manner as well. Um, 
and in a in a good way. So um, yeah, I'm hyped to be out here. Um, although I think I camped on this too long. Oh, we just need a lighter. So, and um, I'm bummed. <laughs> We got it. It's lit still. That's cool. Though. This, this is your first impression Hall of Flowers. It definitely is a really beautiful day. One of the, the my favorite venues now. I'm yeah. really excited that they have it here now. Wow. So what booths have stuck out to you? <laughs> you know, that's a good question. Um, I feel like I've done like a really brief run through. And there <laughs> was a couple of people who stood out. Um, but I feel like I really need to dive in a little bit deeper to, like, say who really has, like, the standout booth for me. Because um, I can't even remember many off top of my head uh, of brands that would be standout. Although Blazy Susan uh, has uh, a pretty wicked setup with a little lounge that you can go and smoke in. Uh, this train trolley taking people all over the place has been really <laughs> enjoyable to see. I saw somebody posted up on there smoking a joint earlier and going where they needed to go. Shout out Gelato. They're, they brought yeah. a train, so that's cool. Um, but yeah, it's interesting coming from the I-502 market in Washington and then coming down into the California arena. This thing's just going to keep calling over. But coming down into the California market and seeing the way that it differs from Washington... And seeing the way that brands can operate down here and how they operate and how the, also they the market products to people as well has been really interesting for me. Um, because it's just a little bit different. You know what's so funny? Shaw, there's a lighter in here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Go figure. No wonder this is a little top heavy and keeps falling. Uh, it's amazing what you can find. I'm just going to leave it down. <laughs> I'm tired of fixing it. So... <laughs> Anywho, what has been the state of what? the sorry to flip it? I'm I'm an interviewer. I had to flip it. Crown. Is that what they're called? Crown de Canna. Is that what they're fucking called? I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to go find them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't right find now. them. And uh, but they had a beautiful booth. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. It's just I don't know. All right, sorry, I interrupted you. What were you going to ask? Um, I was just going to ask, like, what observations have you seen <laughs> along food themes today? You know, it's interesting. Uh, coming in from, again, from another market um, and talking to folks, you know, I bring up things about the Washington market, and California has no idea that Washington is on such a lockdown with a lot of our policies and a lot of the ways that we have to operate, you know. It's like vertical integration is is non-existent in Washington. You know, as a retailer, we're not allowed to sell our own products. You know, we can't even Crazy. give away anything. We can't even give away a book of masses. So you have to charge for everything. Wow. In your store. And we can't have like merchandise either. Like somebody want, was like, oh, I'd love to consign my jewelry in your store. And it's like, well, we can't do that. We have to only sell weed, and it's really kind of fucked up. Like, we can sell torches, but we can't sell the butane to refill it, you know? Um, and so, yeah, so it's interesting to see that, the difference of it. Um, but also, like, um, like the packaging and just the way that people present the weed is is very different than what Washington's approach is. It was cream of the crop. Sorry, the brand that just came back to me and the booth that I was getting. Can I cream of the crop? Well... Shut up, shut up, Rick LeBron. And you know, that's the one thing about coming to these shows, too, is you sit right behind you. We just got Freeway Ricky Ross. Oh, tell yeah. So, I wish I could flip around the camera. Yeah, all right. But you know, how's it going? Can you come around this way? You got to pop on? Wait a fuck. Hello. Oh, no. Happy Hall of Flowers. That's in Taylor. How's it going? I'm good. I'm good. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you as well. Respect my region. That's how it goes here at Hall of Flowers. We just have random people roll up. And here we are now. Hey, what up, y'all? We wait Ricky Ross in the building and all the flowers. <laughs> How's the day going for you today? It's been nice. Yeah. It was smelly. Yeah, what's been your yeah, favorite thing so far? Sticky, icky, icky. I know, I'm pressing hash on my fingertips with how much I know. I'm... They, they've been giving me a lot of weed. Yeah. yeah. They said they're going to come out to my store. Yeah. See, a lot of my friends, they came out and supported me. Right, right. Well, that's that support. Yep. Yeah. And I know people who said they'll be there. Yes. 
So now I got new friends. Yes, absolutely. Like right here, I got two new friends. Oh, and they're That's beautiful. Hey, beautiful people. Call right. <laughs> flowers, 2024. Yes, and Elder not gonna hide me. Anything can happen yeah. here. So what's the most exciting thing that you're looking forward to about these next couple of days? Well, you know, I've, I've been trying to generate foot traffic at my store. Right. So I, I, I'm planning on doing a domino tournament to see okay. who's the best domino player he is in California. Okay. And AJ just said that they're going to sponsor the domino tournament. Woo! Uh, it's right. going to be at Freeway Wikis. Y'all come check it out. Yeah, tell them where's the best domino go. tournament player in the whole world. You got to have a partner. It's going to be partners. Yeah. So make sure you get you a good partner. Perfect. And come out and we, 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 we. Hey. All I do is we, 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 no matter what. <laughs> right. No matter what, that's how we do it. Every day. Hey, thank you. Thank you for popping on. Yeah. Do it. That's amazing. What it can happen any day here at Hall of Flowers. We can run into amazing people and connect with a lot of people and see it, which is really cool. You know, like I don't live out here, but I've connected with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And there's been some people where I've met them prior to in years past, you know, and being able to reconnect with them. Oh, so it's cool. And it's also cool being an insider because I don't really have, I don't, I don't know any of the politics of any of it. So um, I just get to kind of come in with fresh eyes and that's been kind of <laughs> nice as well. So yeah, yeah, it's been good. It's been all good vibes. But yeah, just like you were saying, I see people that we already know. So it's like always a good little reunion. What are you talking about? Where are the laws of that though? That's what I want to know. I need like a rosin. I've been looking for seeds and yeah, we want seeds of more rosin. Good. Solventless dabs, um, but we'll keep. It's only day one, so we'll keep exploring as the week progresses. Yeah, and networking at the after parties and having a very great time. But we don't. Thank you, Taylor, for speaking with me and talking with me. Yeah, happy there the whole time. Yep, the blunt's almost out, so you know it's time to go. Oh, and it's time to go check out some more stuff. Roam through these halls. Uh, look at all of these uh, vendors and uh, see what's good. What's good with Cali Flower, huh? Hall of Flowers. Cali 2024 from Seattle to Ventura. Boom, boom.